All right, hey guys. So, pretty much done for today. Got all the majority of the big corals into this tank. I ended up moving these lights, sort of centering them as best as I could, right next to these center braces. Still need a third light, but for now, this will work. And my blue hippo and my blown naso are certainly acting happier. My two Darwin Acellaris are doing okay. I did notice, now that I can see them both from the side view, that one of them is a little bit thin, so I'll have to up my feeding a bit. But all the corals are doing pretty good. I did have a mishap with that big green aquapora. It broke off a branch and I just did a little repair with some super glue. That will heal back over in, in no time. That big Godzilla bounce you know, is just, look at that thing, that thing is nuts. There's four babies on there, got 10 total. But overall, things are doing okay. I did manage to get all the frags put onto this frag rack in here and then <laughs> Didn't quite have enough room. I still got that frag rack basically loaded and a bunch of other things on the sides. But like I said, this, this stock tank is gonna go away here soon. There is a leak in the back and this stand. Actually, I actually think I'm just gonna build a brand new one at this point. I don't know, we'll see. I probably will just build a brand new one and then I can pull this whole thing out, put the new tank in, new stand, and figure something else out for that little table. But I'm gonna do a different shelf across the top for all my supplies. And uh, yeah, it's a mess right now, but I've been kind of puttering it this, the entire day. I had to make up, so I had I was 60 gallons short. I had 30 gallons already made and I had to make up another 30 gallons to get that going. And uh, yeah, everything's doing good. This little tank over here, empty and shut off. I gotta put everything away, clean everything up. It's a mess. But I have a 125 set up in my basement now. It's pretty cool. I am gonna keep this bare bottom. Uh, my last display tank was bare bottom. And it's just nice because I can stick a filter sock down there and any detritus I can just siphon right to a filter sock and physically remove as needed. I am gonna make some sort of a rock structure in here because like all these big SPS colonies, I want those on the rocks so where I can prune them up high. And then I'll, I'll keep some zoanthid colonies down low and some mushroom colonies. And you can actually appreciate the Gorgonians now. They are truly one of my favorite corals. I've been growing that colony and that one in the back. Those are knobby sea rod gorgs. I've been growing those for only six or well, no, probably about 11 years, believe it or not. And now I can actually let that thing grow another eight or 10 inches if I want. And the purple candelabra gourd in front of it. It looks similar color, but the uh, when you get them under high light, the flesh on the candelabra really gets really sort of purpley. They all have brown polyps, but uh, that'll get a lot more purple. And uh, they're just sort of a daintier uh, branch structure and much, much smaller polyp too. And uh, the green polyp toadstool has space to grow. These two blue-gray or purple cinellarias will have plenty of room. And a bunch of other different cinellarias. And pink nephthia, that's one of my favorites. This green cinellaria is really nice too. Uh, I think that big naughty spiral is going to go. Just a good assortment of corals. I may end up fragging up the yeah, rest of that tabling acro. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it. That's, uh, that's what I got going on. But anyway, guys, hope you guys <laughs> like this kind of thing because this is truly a hobby been doing this almost eight you know, around 18 years now and you know this is what i got so anyway happy reefing guys hope you're all having a great day and uh yeah we'll catch you on another one bye